Some people can throw a baseball. Some people can throw a football really good. And I can farm. What's up, YouTube? And you see we're still playing? It is like June the 8th or 9th or something like that. And, uh, yeah. This field has been wet. And, you know, we got probably about 20 inches of rain. Uh, still plenty of moisture, as you can see. Gonna come back in and plant it right after we drag it. Uh, unfortunately, the air conditioner has went out on that tractor over there. So, I guess we probably about pretty close to 75 to 80% planted. We get this one in. Uh, I just got to go over there and plant the paradise for them. And that'll be it after this. Hey, but it seems like it just ain't enough time today. Because... It's been finally dried out, and I need to do some spraying. And so, ain't enough people in places at one time to do things. Air conditioner went out on that tractor, like I said. So I had to go get a compressor this morning from John Deere. And yeah, so I'll see if I can get y'all some footage today. Get y'all a good updated video, and we'll go from there. So, sign it off. All right, so back with y'all again. Uh, put these batteries back on this 4850. Didn't want to start. I don't know why. I think I might know why. But uh, anyway, just yes, let me take that back. I think I know why. But I'm just confirming something. I want to make sure the batteries weren't bad because these batteries don't stand up worth a flip no more. So anyway, uh. Also, still got to put the got the Mac battery charged up, and I need to get it out. I may pull it out today too. I took them off a little while back, and the charge I have up here at my mama's house, it won't, wouldn't bring them up. So I went home. I got one of the big shoemaker chargers, and I put it put them on there, and uh, that that brought them back up. I mean, so we'll see. I try to get. I'm gonna try to start that Mac today too. later. Ain't 
too bad on here. It look worse than what it really is. I'm just sweating. But I mean, it's hot. It's 90 something degrees out here, so yeah. But I've been in worse. Just gotta stay hydrated. But uh, anyway, it's gonna sign off. I'll let y'all know how it's going here when it cool down a little bit this season. But yeah, we gotta put an AC compressor on this or not. It went out four, about three to four years around this same time. Front blow did the same thing, blow the front seal. So anyway, I'll sign off and get back with y'all. Things done kind of you know it's a little hot out here boat tracks without AC yeah we from a little reckless a little pole farming right about now but it's all right got to get it done one way or another you know stuff happens ain't got time to fix on everything try to be mr. fix it both of us sometimes it works sometimes it don't you know just all depends on the day. Like today, it's hot. Had to tag team a few things. But we got something accomplished today. Well, a lot accomplished today, actually. Doesn't feel like it, but we got a lot done today. Can't complain about it. If we did it, wouldn't do a darn thing. At the end of the day, still got to get it done. And that's what them pair of boys do. Get things done. Yeah, we had to pivot a little bit. This field no longer rolls, but with the way things going, we're going to track the counter down. So, we're going to plant and then run first with the old fur plow. Seven inches beds. Still going to water. But, hey. I always got to figure something out to get some things done. Especially when you're in a time crunch. It's June. Been raining. But. I think we we alright. We heading in the right direction I must say. A headache. But I think we heading in the right direction though. Like I said. Sometimes you got to pivot. Have to pull old fur plow out the weeds. You know. Bought it a long time ago. About $500. I had to go put a new plow foot on it. That's about it. But um, it's going to do what it do. Like I said, got a few mud holes out there. Get them laid on. Let it dry out. Because the tilt's been up the last couple of days. so Which is a good thing. Allow us to do some field work. Clearly planting, as you see. But um, sun going down a little bit. So I think we are, he's about more than halfway done with this field. And I know he a little toasty up there in that cab, you know. I, I got my fresh air earlier. He got a little bit of it too, so he's getting a little bit of it more now. But that's gonna get fixed. Real soon, real soon. Cause on these June temps, it might be 91, but that heat index kicking. But, you hear me? But, um, like I said earlier, things moving in the right direction. Can't complain. Still getting things done. At the end of the day, Form me, either love it or hate it. No gray area. No gray area. 
excuse me, no gray area, no in between. Either love it or hate it. All right, all right. So, taking a break, checking my seed depth down here and some of the different type dirt. Uh, it's a little bit heavier down here, so this is where all your water movement goes. So, anyway, just want to check it's a little bit more moist. Make sure I'm getting the seed trench closed. So, sometimes I know down here it's a little harder to. It ain't as fit as it is up there. So uh, it's still playing pretty good. So it's still closing up pretty, pretty good. Uh, the other thing I'd say, I had to leave these little spots out like this. That's what I meant by this field is not want to dry out. Uh, didn't want to dry out back there. It's a couple little spots y'all can't see it probably. And so, you know, it's just, that's the type of year it's been. I think but at the deer place said we got 20 inches of rain last month. So if that's true, you know, it's just what you contend with when it come to farming. But anyway, I'm gonna continue to roll on. That's that old fur plow I mentioned to y'all guys earlier about, like I said, I had to pull it out the weeds, you know what I'm talking about? Tried it out early before we started planning to see how it looks, get our measurements right. Had to buy that new one right there. Like I said, pulled it out the weeds. Had poison out all on this stuff, but pulled it out the weeds. That's what we're gonna water with this year. Like I said, kinda in the time crunch. Both of us working full-time jobs. So sometimes you gotta pivot. You'd be surprised what what you got in the weeds sometimes and you forget you got it until it's time to move around and do something different. Especially since the local st par store didn't have parts for the hipper. They said that's obsolete now, you know, but we still use it, so gotta order that for next year. Cause we ain't got nothing but a couple of irrigated fields, so, and being one tractor down, kinda makes things a little bit easier. I shall say, it gives you a little peace of mind knowing you still can water your crop, given certain circumstances. So, as I mentioned to you guys earlier about the power store not carrying these anymore, well, it might not be the politically correct name, but I call it the house, man. But they say that this is obsolete because everybody uses better choppers now, even though we got one, it's an older one. <laughs> Don't have a welder right now, so can't fix on it. Or... A lot of stuff we can't fix on without our welder, but hopefully we have that here shortly. Um, but yeah, so they said they didn't have any of these. As you can see, it's slap foot fat. Whoa, wow. <laughs> we ran it till we couldn't run it no more. But that's what happened. So that's why we had to pivot to the fur plow because they were out of those. Pretty simple and easy to change. That's why we kind of like it. Simple to use. Simple to work on when you got the right tools in the toolbox, as I always say. Um, so now she's sitting here collecting grass until we can order the parts. And as y'all guys know, parts are kind of scarce for a lot of older stuff. So got to take a half come. That's why you slowly have to upgrade here and there as time permits. And of course, money, because, you know, that, that runs short real quick when you got an expensive hobby like farming, as I called it. Um, but like I said earlier, you either love it or hate it. Ain't no in between. But yeah, so they kind of put us on the back burner. But like I said, you pull things out the weeds real quick when uh you have to. So but that's it, folks, for you guys. Though, so, like I said, just something simple and quick. Like I said, you always got to have a plan within a plan when you're farming.
later. What up, two? Anyway, it's the next day. And we're doing a little bit of pre emerge spraying for the field that we just uh, planted. And what I mean by pre emerge, you basically spray it before it emerges. That way, if the rain, it activates the, you know, the herbicide to keep the weeds from coming up. So, anyway, uh, down here, filling up with water at my neighbor's. Got the mad scientists over there doing this thing. And yeah. But anyway, they been kind of a light sun. They're gonna take the tractor up to the repair shop so they can get the air conditioner fixed on it after this. And yeah. So I'll try to get y'all some footage of wild spring. But other than that, that's what's going on on the farm. You don't wanna have all the weeds out there. Plus, like, you know, like I said, we had 20 inches of rain in May. So, you know, that's why you want to put a pre-emerge on there. You don't never know when you're going to get back. Well, yeah. Like I said, spray and pre-emerge. We're going to try to kill this little grass that's still out here. And what I do is usually come around my edges first, get the binder of my field. And yeah, so what you want to do is make sure you're watching your boom, keeping them out the trees and out the fence from them. And yeah, I'm gonna chime back and get back with you. Well, still spraying. Really need to put the heat that's in this thing. Anyway, guys, I'm going to sign off, finish this field. Like I said, I got to take 49 up to the fast shop.